I am an outhouse engineer, traveling from farm to farm. It's my mobile workshop, um, specializing in combines really, but don't do many this time of year because that's a bit too cold, so we're just doing tractors and motor spreaders. What you say, boy? He got the right ones this time? I don't know. If, we, <coughs> if I hadn't, I'll have to go down the road and get some more. Yeah, I know. Well, when I was at school, I liked welding and messing around with metal stuff and generally just tinkering around with my bikes and that. I've got you on it. Oh, the bar, I think. I did tell you. Is there, is there <coughs> a, a longer bar or...? <coughs> yeah, I'll see if I can find a longer bar. So my father said, go and try and get a job at East County Farmers at Marsh, which I did. And I worked there for 13 years and then decided to go and have a go on my own, which I've been doing now for 21 years. Which is the best move I've ever done. That's now been sold because I bought a new one. I bought this three years ago. £250,000 they paid for it. Got a wire broken here. And this wire broken pissed the whole machine up. I wouldn't even move without that wire being joined. Get my dirty overall on again. Just come from Melton's, the dirtiest farm in Norfolk, look. They could do with a bit of concrete. Much better here. Much better work with this. Please yourself, you start when you like, you finish when you like, you have lunch when you like, you have a cup of tea when you like. Yes, I love it. So I built this shed in 19, around about 1991. Um, they never really finished it, and that's in the totally the wrong place, but that's a very good shed. When I started on my own 21 years ago, the most powerful tractor about was probably 120, 130 horsepower. Now most farms, that would be the smallest tractor on the farm. And you're getting up to 280 just as a standard tractor. The problem they're getting is that um, they're all computerized and you need laptops to plug in just to diagnose any trouble. Same as your cars really, but these are more technical than any car you would, you would have. The combines are getting Starfire satellites staring on them, so you don't even have to stare the combine. So you just put a plan into the field, and that is it. You just let the combine put the combine in the gate, and the combine will do the rest. That's bad news for people like me. Ten years time, we wonder where we're going to be.